Smarty Pants. If there's one thing you know about me, it's I love lunch. I love breakfast, dinner, and snack times as well, but I particularly love lunch. Today, I'm treating myself to one of my favorite lunch foods. See if you can guess what it is using two sound clues. Ready? Here's sound one. And here's sound two. Did you say a hot dog? Good job. And what better place to get a hot dog than Nathan's famous hot dogs in Brooklyn's Coney Island Amusement Park, where they've been making hot dogs for over 100 years. Hi, welcome to Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs. What can I get for you? Hi, one hot dog, please. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can practically taste it. Now, I just need to decide what condiment to put on it. Smarty Pants, do you know what a condiment is? I bet some of you said ketchup, and some of you said mustard, and some of you may have said mayo, and you're all right. But salt and pepper are also technically condiments. Uh. The word condiment comes from the Latin condimentum, meaning spice seasoning, and sauce. Basically, any outside ingredient that you add to your food to give it more flavor can be considered a condiment. And for hot dogs, the two condiments people like most are ketchup and mustard. Which do you prefer, smarty pants? Me, I like... Hmm, um, hmm, I can't decide. You know what? I'll use both. There, that looks good. Now for the first bite. This is Chet Nickerson reporting live from Coney Island, where a trusty narrator has just put ketchup and mustard on the same hot dog. (gasps) Normally, such an infraction might go unnoticed, but today is the annual condiment competition to decide which condiment best goes on hot dogs. As you can hear, there's a very vocal ketchup contingent on my left. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. While on my right is the mustard mob. Mustard, 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 mustard. The voting stands at a tie. Trusty narrator could be a potential swing vote, except he's loaded his hot dog with both ketchup and mustard. A serious no-no in the spirit of this competition, and quite frankly, the eyes of this reporter. Yikes! I seem to have gotten myself into a condiment conundrum and earned the condemnation of this condiment consortium. Although, I really don't see what's so wrong with putting both ketchup and mustard on a hot dog. Ooh, things have gone from bad to worse as trusty narrator refuses to pick a condiment. Who knew that people were so serious about which condiment to put on their hot dog? So, Smarty Pants, where did ketchup and mustard originate? When were they first used in the United States? And how is it that they both became so popular to put on hot dogs? It seems trusty narrators' thought-provoking questions have quieted this crowd. Everyone waits breathlessly and hungrily for the answers. Looks like it's time for another whiff of science and history on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science or history? Listen up, everyone. We make smarting lots of fun on Who Smarted? This is wild. I'm surrounded on one side by people wearing all red, chanting for ketchup. Ketchup! While on the other side, people wearing all yellow chant for mustard. Mustard! Me, I'm wearing red pants, a yellow shirt, and I've got both ketchup and mustard on my hot dog. Which is not winning me any fans, but just how much do they or you even know about ketchup or mustard? Let's start with ketchup. True or false, ketchup originated in the USA and has always been made from tomatoes. 
If you said false to both, you're right. Would you believe ketchup's origins date back hundreds of years to China? And guess what? It didn't resemble anything remotely close to the tomato ketchup that you know and love today. The crowd is stunned as trusty narrator comes right out of the gate with a bombshell. I know, it's hard to believe, but ketchup actually started out as, wait for it, pickled fish sauce. Yuck. It's true. The word ketchup comes from the Chinese word ketchup, meaning pickled fish sauce. Yuck. And it was made with soybeans, meat byproducts, and fish entrails, a.k.a. fish guts. Ketchup was used to season various foods before cooking. It wasn't really thought of as an add-on condiment back then. The ketchup crowd is stunned silent. And is that laughter I hear from the mustard mob? Just hang on. The story of ketchup obviously doesn't end there. English sailors traveling to various parts of Asia enjoyed using ketchup as a seasoning and brought it back to the West, where many cooks tried to recreate it. Eventually, English settlers brought it to America, where tomatoes and sugar were added and boiled down into a thicker, paste-like substance. And some excitement has returned to the ketchup crew. Trusty narrator, I have a two-part question. Who is credited with developing ketchup in the U.S., and when did they do it? A scientist from Philadelphia named James Meese came up with the first tomato-based recipe in 1812. And then, in 1876, a company that is practically synonymous with ketchup developed their own version and began selling it in glass bottles so customers could see the bright red goodness inside. Any idea what company that was? Uh, if I had to guess, it would be the USA Tomato Ketchup Glass Bottle Company. Close. Uh, try Heinz Ketchup. Ah, uh, yes, my second guess. Today, Heinz Ketchup sells a lot of tomato ketchup, made with tomatoes, sugar, salt, vinegar, and spices. Ah, uh, can I ask a multiple-choice question, trusty? Be my guest, Chet. Smarty Pants, how many bottles of ketchup does Heinz sell in a year? Is it 100 million, 500 million, or 650 million bottles? The answer is 650 million. That's 1,000 bottles per minute and doesn't even include those hard-to-open single-serve packets. That's a lot of ketchup. Today, ketchup is used on all kinds of things like hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, tater tots, corn dogs, grilled cheese, tacos, gyros, scrambled eggs, meatloaf, steak, chicken nuggets, fried foods, breakfast burritos, and, of course, hot dogs. Oh, a big cheer from the ketchup contingent. They love ketchup so much, they add ketchup to their ketchup. But wait, what do I hear? Some mumbling and grumbling coming from the mustard mob. They're not happy with all the attention ketchup is getting, and they want to hear about their favorite condiment, mustard. Oh, I haven't forgotten. Smarty Pants, from which of the following does the condiment mustard come from? A, a tree. B, a plant. Or C, the ocean. If you said B, a plant, you're right. A murmur has gone up among the members of the mustard mob. Question, trusty. How does a plant produce... Mustard you'd put on a hot dog. You see, the mustard plant, a member of the Brassicii family, produces itty-bitty round seeds. In order to release the flavor contained in those seeds, they need to be cracked open. Or ground up. And mixed with a liquid. Such as vinegar, to produce a paste-like substance which can be used as a condiment or ingredient. Mustard is one of the earliest known recorded spices, dating way, way back to around 3000 BCE. Whoa. It also was one of the first crops to be domesticated and used throughout the Orient and Egypt. 
The mustard you use today can be traced back to the early Romans a few thousand years ago, when they ground up the seeds and mixed them with unfermented juice from grapes. In fact, the word for mustard in Italian is mostarda, a contraction of two Latin words, mustum and ardens, meaning burning must, a reference to the spicy heat that the seeds give off. Ooh, spicy! Today, mustard is used in and on all kinds of foods like salad dressings, roasts, pasta, potatoes, eggs, mussels, butter, chicken, fish, and of course, hot dogs. That tradition started the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair when Robert Timothy French introduced a bright yellow mustard on a hot dog. French's mustard recipe of vinegar, turmeric, garlic powder, mustard seeds, and a secret blend of spices hasn't changed in over a century. A big cheer from the mustard mob. However, this competition remains deadlocked. If only trusty narrator could choose a favorite and break the tie. It might be out of my hands. Did you know there's an unofficial age limit regarding which condiment you should put on a hot dog? An age limit? For condiments? Yep, I'll explain that. The different varieties of ketchups and mustards, and whether you need to keep them in the refrigerator right after this quick break. Now back to Who Smarted. As you can hear, there's lots of enthusiasm for both ketchup and mustard to be used on hot dogs, or plenty of other foods. But which variety of mustard? There's lots of them. Can you name any? I heard some good answers. There's actually 11 different types of mustard. Chet, care to rattle them all off? I love rattling. <clears throat> There's Dijon, spicy brown, yellow, French, honey, whole grain, hot, German, beer, Creole, and gray poupon. Obviously, not every mustard goes well on a hot dog. And just because you like or dislike one kind of mustard doesn't mean you'll like or dislike another. Some interesting tidbits. Dijon mustard, a sharp, spicier mustard made from brown mustard seeds, was invented in Dijon, France. While French mustard actually comes from England. Huh? French's yellow mustard, the hot dog favorite, is made in the USA. Spicy brown mustard, also known as deli mustard, is used a lot on meat sandwiches. For whole grain mustard, the mustard seeds are crushed just enough to make a paste, but not so much that the entire seed breaks down. And finally, Grey Poupon, a mixture of whole grain and Dijon mustards, became famous thanks to a series of TV commercials in the 1980s. Grey Poupon, one of life's finer pleasures. Uh Uh-oh! The ketchupers are becoming agitated. There's so many different kinds of mustard and only one kind of ketchup. Or is there? Unlike the fish sauce of the past, when you think of ketchup today, you think of tomato ketchup. But wait, isn't it redundant to say tomato ketchup if ketchup is made of tomatoes? Nope. Turns out there's lots of other ketchups in the U.S. and around the world. Rattle away, Chet. Why, there's jalapeno, sriracha, banana, grape, mushroom, black pepper, bacon, and curry ketchups, just to name a few. Nice. Banana ketchup is used a lot in the Caribbean, while jalapeno and sriracha add a nice spicy kick. Of course, on the label of Heinz ketchup, it says 57 varieties. Only there aren't. And the 57 doesn't mean anything. Question! Should ketchup and mustard be refrigerated? Ketchup is better off in the fridge. Same goes for Dijon and horseradish-based mustards. Otherwise, mustard doesn't need to be refrigerated. And finally, which is your favorite hot dog condiment, trusty? Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup! Ketchup! Fine. Remember I said there was an age limit? Well, unofficially, of course. They say nobody over the age of 18 should put ketchup on a hot dog. That does not sit well with the ketchup crew. Nor should it. If you like ketchup on hot dogs, have ketchup. If you prefer mustard, have mustard. Okay, no more games. We need an answer. Which is your favorite? 
my favorite hot dog condiment is relish. Looks like this year's condiment competition is ending in a disappointing tie. This has been Chet Nickerson reporting. Hey, where's everyone going? I'll eat my hot dog and catch up with you later. Get it? Catch up with you? Later. A double shout out to superfans Oliver and Lachlan in Sarasota, Florida. We hear you listen to Who Smarted every time you get in the car. Now that's what I call a smart car. This episode, Ketchup vs. Mustard, was written by Dave Davis and voiced by Adam Dijon Davis, Kim Ketchup Davis, Gia Hold the Mustard Davis, and Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hot Sauce Han. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Max Condiment Crazy Kamaski. The theme song is by Brian Mane Suarez, with lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production.